hi all welcome back to my channel by spark pulse so in this video we are going to discuss on my interview experiences so i'm just not you know giving any interview experience for a particular company in the, for the interview which i have given so i've given interviews for around like 10 plus companies and i've got offers from a few and got you know rejection from a few so let us discuss my you know overall interview experience which i you know uh, faced and what kind of questions they asked in the first round and there are generally two rounds of technical interviews which i face in the interviews so i'm going to you know give a overall experience on that since i'm getting dms and also comments so this is for you uh, please uh, go through this video carefully and you know it will be helping you in your interviews so so for the first round on the second round definitely the interviewer wants to know me and uh, he will ask the you know, introduction about yourself so this is a brief introduction which i have you know which i generally give i add some lines or you know i remove some lines so uh, this you can go through this like uh, hello my name then where i am from then where i did my btech then some introduction like how much years of experience i have what kind of skills i am uh, currently having what kind of technologies i'm working at then at which company i'm working and which project i'm working at right then what kind of task which i uh, did, did daily then what kind of you know uh development which i did then at last i had this line being passionate i'm excited about the possibilities that data engineering offers and i'm always eager to learn and adapt to emerging technologies and learn best practices in the field so i generally i like to add this line at the end of my introduction because this you know uh, yes this is true this is me i like data engineering and i love data so and this is also give you know it gives good impression to the interviewer so you, you can also add then the next questions will be like you know some hands-on uh, question will be there like for example i have just given like write a code on PySpark to find the second highest salary or there can be numerous uh, different types of questions and according to experience you are applying uh, and for the company which company you are trying to apply for which role you are going to apply so you know all this uh, this question will depending on majorly this you can get questions on PySpark or you can get question on sql you, you might get it is very rare chances you know to get question on python i didn't get any questions on python uh, for the interviews which i gave in one of the interviews i got a very easy question on python so generally it's it's only PySpark and SQL and other data engineering tools. Or if you are giving like Azure Data Engineer, mostly on the Azure Data Factory side, so you might get some question on that side, right? So basically, on that uh, point of view, then this is a very, very basic question that I have you know, tried to solve. This is one of the questions that I also received. Yeah, this is one of the question which I get uh, in the first round of the interviews. So I tried to replicate the same. Then write a code in PySpark to find a second highest salary. So this is a very easy question, right? You all can you can solve and if not, you can add paste the solution also. Then some theoretical questions on Spark, like how do you optimize the Spark codes? Then here you can say like, how do you know, optimize joins then using the broadcast so strategy, then using the shuffle hash join strategy, enabling AQE, avoiding shuffle, uh, avoiding shuffle, right? Uh, then getting no to data getting your data like understanding your data well then you can uh, give the best number of partitions because it is a play of partition right so if you are uh, good enough because if you're good enough and if you're good and you have good understanding of your data then you can give the best number of partitions so that you know best of all can happen and each and every task which the spark performs spark engine performs so it can have like the average time and the mean time the max time if you when you visualize the spark ui you can see this you know time the task took so this should be very similar like there should not be much difference so this is the best optimization that you can do then broadcast on some examples you can give right then here comes the second round of interviews so this is very you know crucial round if you have cleared your first round there are chances like you are like 50 to 60 percent in a company right and this is the second round here after you clear this you are 95 percent in the company just some managerial rounds or some hr rounds will be there but the second round is very important because you know this is all about your project architecture current currently which you're working on the first round is you know generally technical you might learn new things you can and you can solve the problems you know but if you're not having hands-on experience on the project so if you're just you know uh, 
playing playing with the interviewer like you're giving up uh, you know if you are even if you are doing that sort of things like it is not a big issue but uh, but you should have a good understanding of your project right you should uh, even if you're not worked on real time project you should be uh, you should be doing projects that this is very important actually you should do at least 5 to 6 projects before you are going to give an interview this will not only help you to give an interviews it will also help you to know when you're working on a project if you get selected so this is very a uh, good thing it will be increasing your knowledge and everything and all then what optimization technique you use in your projects and all so this can be one of the question if you have not worked you cannot answer that so definitely you should uh, uh, work on your projects and try to answer that for example i uh, definitely have worked on many projects i have did my projects i was working in the current company and the last company which i worked on so i worked on big data so i know certain optimization techniques like we have used uh, the bucketed table joins strategy then shuffle hash join strategies right then understanding the data then enabling aqe understanding aqe is also very important not just you know enabling aqe uh, solves a lot of problems like dynamically collating shuffle partition switching join strategies avoiding skew joins so all these terminologies also should be understanding what if aq is not enabled interview might you know get into that so you should be understanding this then explain the issues that you face in your project like you know sometimes the pipeline broke down there might be certain issues the schema evolves you know everything every issues uh, you might face so this might this the solution to that uh, problems also you should know then one of the interviewer asked me this question like what is the dag in a spark ui right should be able to explain the dag like dag is and what the dag stands for what are the you know components of a dag how you how do you understand a dag so this is a basic you know uh, diagram i have put here like there are some stages okay then which are divided by narrow transformation stages are divided by you know white transformation and there's singular job so this is a one job okay so like this you can uh, give your understanding to the interviewer then different between wire and narrow transformation i have created separate video in this so just you can go through this and i will just attach the link also then this is again the same thing okay i pasted a slide twice so there can be numerous other questions like uh, what is caching and different things then there can be questions like you know uh, what is uh, Uh, what are different levels of caching okay then there can be also questions on uh, your uh, like different technologies which you have worked on sql okay and what are what are indexes in sql right what are what are different type of joins so everything you can explain then in the last or the, there there might be the third round which are the managerial round or the hr round where salary negotiation happens or uh, which checks on you know Uh, like how your behavioral skills are there how do you know respond to a problem how do you work as a team member how, whether you can lead a team you know, how can you solve a problem how can you tackle a problem so everything like uh, if you are having a positive attitude towards a company or the things are not so like this uh, things are there so definitely you should prepare you should be well prepared for your interview the first thing is to apply the apply for a job role everyone you should you should not be scared to apply for a job because this is the first step to you know uh, for your growth actually then the next thing is to be well prepared for the interview you are applying for the job you should also prepare for the interview process because definitely you need to be you know good at uh, speaking your communication should be clear okay then the next thing is you should be clear about your projects your technologies whatever you are going to give in your resume and everything you should keep all this in mind and then apply okay so all the very best for your upcoming interviews and uh, i will also share my you know, top mate link if you are having any uh, doubts and you want to discuss on uh, a good thing so you can definitely contact me on that you can ping me on linkedin you can uh comment on this video i will be answering in all the three platforms so yeah thank you have a good day and please